All right, guys. Here today to do another video. Y'all might have remembered my 75th edition power wagon. Well, I have traded her in. Just was not what I needed from a tow perspective. Posted a couple videos on that. The ride, the investment I was gonna need to make that what I really wanted it to be, just wasn't making sense. So, just upgraded the camper. Some of y'all saw in my ATC video. So this is what I got now. 2021 Ram 2500. The 68, I believe RFE Cummins. 370 horsepower, 850 pounds of torque. Uh, some of y'all might remember I had the limited 1500 Kentucky Derby edition, so I really feel like I just got all those features back. See the front end. Same lights as the power wagon, just all chromed out. Pink color bumper, this is the Pearl. Just got it washed and ceramic today. Shout out to Clear Works here in San Antonio. Gilbert Martinez does a hell of a job. This is the Mega Cab. 31 gallon diesel tank. Just the fact that my range is so much improved. Oh man, just makes me feel so much more confident and better. Uh, you know, the Power Wagon just wasn't for me. It was a really fun truck. Four months that I had it. Took it out to Barnwell Recreation Park up in Texas, north kind of East Texas. Um, had a lot of fun with it there, but again, this video is focusing on my 2021 2500 Mega Cab. Also, this model has the Ram air suspension, which is also a nice creature comfort that I was missing with the power wagon. It just got old climbing into that thing. I'm getting old, so this is much better. <clears throat> Go ahead and pop it open. As you can see, you do have your auto step. This is the limited, so with the Indigo package. So it really has everything I used to have in my 1500. Kentucky Derby edition. This is something that, you know, brings me back to the old pickup days. I was definitely getting used to the knobby knob, liking that, but man, I cannot complain. I also get not the full panoramic sunroof, but I at least get a moonroof. Still get my digital rear view, all adjustable seats. You got your lighting, beautiful inlay with the wood and the doors just really nice and then stepping into the rear obviously you still have you know more space better appointments really nice leather with the indigo kind of bluish leather these seats do fold down so you have that flat surface here uh, the other nice feature is you can get them to fold all the way flat so you know, this needs to be moved forward a little to get it to go down, but you can obviously do that to the other side and have enough room to sleep back there. And the other cool features, you know, back here, there's some storage, lift that up, store your tools, things like that, as well as, you know, you have some uh, child safety anchors. So if you're hauling your kids around and then these guys are, you know, hold your grocery bags, tie those onto there. Lots of space in the back there. This does fold down. You got your two cup holders there. Rear is heated. Plenty of charging space here. Plus your 115. Two more cup holders. Again, you got that nice wood. Uh, nice, you know, touches obviously on the limited. Uh, these grab handles, kind of the two-tone kind of is really cool. My limited 1500 was all black. So stepping in now to the cab, go ahead and start her up. 
Um, nice thing about the 2021s, I guess they all come with the, the off-road pages. Not that I plan on doing any much off-road with this thing now, but uh, who knows? There's still options when it comes to what you can do with these things. Uh, you see your alternate trailer height. Uh, you can set that to different trailers that you have and it'll raise or lower uh, depending on where you have them. You got your engine braking. Uh, where you can turn it on, you can turn it to automatic as well as turn it off. Obviously, it's an off right now, your tow hole, and then you've got your sensors there. Uh, video I've done already, you know, I kind of went through these uh, features here. I do like you know, this a lot better, the wood, it's a lot better than that piano black stuff. Uh, you got your glove box down here, uh, and then again, these seats. I definitely miss these seats. Uh, the Power Wagon 75th edition tries to be the limited, but I don't know. They, they just aren't the same. I don't know if it's the material in the, in the seat cushions or the leather or what. Uh, and then also this center console is a, a lot nicer uh, than the Power Wagons. And then your limited badging here. Uh, and then you do have your four-wheel drive high, four-wheel drive low. Uh, and then mine does have the same you know features forward collision you know fast speed and then the adaptive cruise control uh, lane keep assist all that good stuff uh, going through the menu here real quick um, you have your vehicle info lots of information you can access through the main center console or the main uh, dash display your off-road pages like I mentioned pitch and roll and then you can access those from the 12 inch display your fuel economy this is something I'm really excited about much better fuel economy already uh, I've got 119 miles on it and I barely got to a quarter of a tank uh, Trip info, you guys have seen all this. Trailer tow, got your braking, your light check, audio where you can control <clears throat> your music. If you want to set it up with your phone for messaging, you can, and then your screen set up. Uh, you do have some commercial settings I haven't looked into yet, and uh, your speedometer, obviously. So. Uh, you do have your voice recognition, all that good stuff. This is definitely something I'll be getting used to. Uh, other than that, it's really the same thing. You've got all of your um, safety SOS and assistance here. Uh, drop down for the uh, tailgate, your lighting, your opening and closing and tilting of your sunroof, and then your rear window electric open and close. Then you do have some charging and storage up here. I've got the Garmin dash cam I like to use there uh, and then again with the limited you do get the same 17 speakers as I had in my uh, power wagon but uh, obviously you get the much nicer speaker covers you know all throughout all 17 speakers including a little tweeter here um, you know, just have that little extra touch to them so uh, that's really it. I, I'm not that impressed with like the startup sound or anything like that But I'll go ahead and start it up for you guys outside real quick and uh, thanks for watching my video Y'all have a good rest of your day and for those of y'all out there that are waiting for my second ATC video Oh my goodness. I swear I'm gonna do it tomorrow uh, Y'all have a good night Five hundred mega cab coming.